raised your hand here, but when I asked that question, so. So yeah. It's been 10 years since I called my friend and asked him to look at a really ugly web page because I had this pro, I had this project that might had the potential to might get a slightly high profile. It took another three and a half years and all of a sudden we were in the fucking European Parliament. Our first member of the European Parliament standing right, standing right here with us. Hello. I mean, the Anders Order joined him just a couple of, I think it was, it was even a, a year or two later. Uh, because the Lisbon two, Treaty. Two and a half years later, so yeah. Yeah, well, half, 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 yeah, we got our second seat, but the Lisbon Treaty didn't take effect for somewhere. In any case, it turned out that we, uh, at the time, we had all started something really big together. When we were elected in 2009, most of the media assembled. And it bears reminding that the Swedish media collect, gathered at our victory election dinner were completely in shock at the fact that there was, wasn't just Swedish media covering this fringe party. There were media from, in, from the UK, from Hungary, from pretty much every European nation, from CNN, from you name it. And they're like coming up, you know, there, there, there's TV from Hungary here. I'm like, yeah, I expected that, so what? So we set something really big in motion. And that something we set in motion was a new generation demanding their rights, demanding their civil rights, demanding something as basic as inheriting the civil rights of our parents. When our parents sent a letter, they could expect that it wouldn't be read in transit, that it would not be tracked, that the mailman would not be responsible for the contents. When our parents held a conversation in a cafe, a social conversation, they could expect that it was not recorded for use against them in the future, nor recorded to analyze it for target them, targeting them with appropriate advertising. When our parents met in the way they met, they could expect nobody to record that. Instead, our children have lost all of those rights, and that is a problem. We are the movement taking back those rights. We're the movement demanding something as simple as our children having the same rights as our parents. And it's a completely reasonable thing to demand. So where are we? We started out in 2009, got like people thought it was just a fluke, just a joke, just a flash in the pan. And they can be burned in just two years later, 2011, in the, in the fall. They actually beat our record, the, the fuckers. <laughs> they got 8.5%. We got 7.13%. And here we are today, just 10 years later, and the Icelandic Pirate Party is polling at, I think the latest was something like 29%. It varies. I don't, I, I don't catch all, all the measurements. But it's, they're, they're have a really decent shot at being the largest party on what looks like snap elections on the 29th of October. <laughs> I mean, if somebody had told me 10 years ago that not only would we, we be this proud, but we would have had a great shot at being the Prime Minister in, in a Nordic country. We would, it would be our colleague that wrote the official evaluation of how the European Copyright Monopoly Directive works. Julia It would be entirely our credit that ACTA was stopped. Although we, although we were not sufficient, we were necessary to stop ACTA. And a lot of other successes. I would, I'm not sure I would have believed them. What we've accomplished in 10 years is extra fucking ordinary. And we're part of this worldwide. So, thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for being part of this fucking ugly web page I set up 10 years ago. <laughs> and from here, onward and upward. Thank you. Very much.